doing here. Going to be kind of an update as to what all's going on, and uh, I'm going to go over some stuff today. Been a long day, a lot of work, but it was a good day. Can't beat it. I'm going to spin you around, guys. We're going to do some shout outs real quick. Let's see. I've got the handheld camera now. Let's see if I can spin you around. And do it kind of hold it steady. Oh boy. Hang on. See if this works. Sulfur City Designs, guys, for all your off road mower mudding, modding, and stickage needs t shirts and hoodies, decals. Can't beat them. Custom work, uh, magnetics, uh, metal signs as well. Southern Off Road Mowers on Facebook. We're growing. 3,000 subscribers. Gonna do something about that. A3VO3VO. If I wasn't so tired, I might be able to figure that out. But thanks for watching and subscribing, man. Crass Cutters TV. Joseph Thomas. Reedmon. Jesse HDZ. Quad Riders Unlimited. Thanks for subscribing. Dalton Hughes. Big old tow truck 1225. And Darren James. Thanks for subscribing. I know he's a genius because I'm a genius and my name's Darren too. These are the people that have been sharing the videos and we give special thanks to uh, you guys. Uh, Corey Scott, O2 Warrior, Chevy 6299, Preston Gold, Mac 1 Ford, thanks guys, thanks for sharing all the silly stuff, I really appreciate it. Novi Daily, you know who you are man, double thanks to you. M Steel Vids, thanks buddy. Tinker Jim, Waiting on some videos, Tank. Jordan Skillen, Tim Davis, the Aaron 0101, BC Truck. Thanks for subscribing, guys. BC, he's got a great channel. Um, take a look at him. He does a lot of prep and a lot of how-tos and kind of like country living, too. Nick Depravla, thank you, sir, for subscribing. Not subscribing. Thanks for uh, all the shares. I appreciate that. Now, More to come, guys. Hope I'm in frame. Like I said, I'm still not used to using this uh, uh, monopod. Hopefully, I will. A lot of times, I forget. So the times I forget, the video is kind of like that. But it seems to help a lot uh, with the shakiness and everything. Now, I did want to show you something. Uh, this tip uh, came from. Spin you around here. Randall Lynn on Facebook. He sent me this message and said, uh, when you're using this vinyl stuff, you don't want to make clear cuts uh, across because it shows a definition, a break, uh, if you will, from one point to another, and it makes the eyes focus on it. Now, so I'll show you what I did. I did what he suggested. I used something else to kind of break it up. So now it's kind of broken up, and we'll go travel to the other side, and you can see... That's the line uh, where I had it, but I just uh, pieced in some other pieces and parts, and you can kind of see where just uh, the extra pieces break it up. So, Randall, that was a really freaking good tip, and I wanted to tell you personally thank you because that was uh, something I was trying to figure out how to do. So, thanks. What we're going to try to do in this short amount of time. I want to uh, skin this as well. Gonna see how it does. This might be a pain in the butt. It might not work. And uh, worst comes to worst, I'll end up painting it uh, a gloss black, probably. Um, I think that would look pretty good with it, because everything else, all the all of the metal uh, that is black, will be a gloss black. I think I, I changed my mind from flat. I think I want to do a gloss black. I'm not sure. I may change it again. Who knows? But we're going to stretch some pieces out, and uh, then I'm going to tell you where I got this from. You won't believe it. Okay, guys, now, okay. we're back. I've cut and measured, because everybody knows how to cut and measure. I don't think you need me to tell you how to do it. Uh, the piece, and I've peeled it. Peeled back three inches. Stuck it here and then rolled it across and kept applying it as I went across. So this is here and don't worry we're gonna cut the vent holes back in this so we'll have the grill back just like it was and it'll look pretty good. 
Now what we're going to do, we're going to use the uh, plastic welder, the heat gun, to heat it up. We're going to pull it and shrink it. You can use a hair dryer. You don't have to have anything exotic like this. I had this and I didn't want to like, get anything from the house and this seems to work really well. Just be sure and move whatever heat source you're using back and forth not to melt the plastic. Clean the metal before you do anything. Spray it down. I, I used a, you know, some Windex, sprayed it down, wiped it off, let it dry, and then just start kind of working it in place. Um, takes a little bit of time and it's nothing hard. Um, so I'm going to get on it and then I'll show you uh, halfway through and then I'll show you a finished product. Okay More guys, now we're back. I want to show you. I've got it stretched pretty good and I stretched it to accommodate for that curve down at the bottom as well and then those are the vents uh, that I've been cutting through and wrapping them around uh, the film. Uh, it, it takes a little bit. Um, this front piece will take 30 minutes. If you got 30 minutes you want to futz around doing it, it's not too bad. Now, you see this right here, this is the tan paint that had broken uh, the, the tape did not quite uh, cover it and close it up so I'm going to show you what we're going to do hold on just a second oh it, it didn't pause all right okay guys now we're back there's a spot this is just a permanent marker done can't even see it so um, the pattern hides a lot of imperfections and it so far it does really good and you can see uh, what I've gotten done so far with it uh, I'm gonna stop here today because it's getting kind of late and I haven't even had dinner yet so we're gonna go inside in just a few minutes but more to come guys Okay, guys, now we're back. I, I did want to spin you around real quick because we got company. Edward! He said, hey. Damn cat. Anyway, we're about to wrap this video up. But you can see how it's progressing. Going to cut the vent holes in the top. Do it exactly as we have done the others. So it's all coming together nicely. And yes, at some point we will put that 17 uh, twin Kawasaki in there or put it in something. Uh, that 14 does good for now, so we're going to uh, play with it for a little while. We'll get all the body work finished. I'm not doing any motor work on this guy until we get all the body uh, skinned. And then we do something with the seat, put another one or find another one, something like that. But it's going really well got no complaints I'm tickled with the results and guys yes you're more than welcome please use this um, it's a great way to do it because now to celebrate 3,000 subscribers on YouTube because uh, I've got 3,000 subscribers now I'm gonna tell you where you get this stuff and you won't believe it I bought this at Walmart some of you may know and uh, it's made by 3M uh, it's the same people that make the duct tape uh, it is shelf paper I paid ten dollars a roll and I've been able to do almost the whole doghouse the whole front and sides of this mower for ten dollars now go online and look at the skins that you can buy and the rolls and everything like that and if you can buy it for ten bucks I'll tip my hat to you but and that some people will say oh it's not the same quality it's not the same thickness it's not the same adhesive well hell it's made by 3M or the uh, the, the duck people and uh, so I, I'm entirely satisfied with that. Uh, in the warmer weather, it's going to heat up, and it's going to 
stick even better uh, from the motor. Some people will say that. This thing is doing great, and even Edward approves. Oh my God, Edward, you can't drive my mud mower. You don't have thumbs. Anyway, guys, more to come. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Definitely thanks for shares. We're at 3,000 subscribers. I, I think it's like 2,997 or something like that. So, by the time this video gets watched in the morning, we'll be at 3,000 subscribers on YouTube. Thanks. I really appreciate that. We've got to do something for it. We also have to do something for uh, 3,000 subscribers for Facebook's Southern Off-Road Mowers. Uh, going to have to work on something like that, too. More to come. Y'all going to make some mayhem.